Hi guys, welcome back to After Prepping. Thanks for clicking on the video and I hope you're doing well out there and I hope you're getting on well with your preps. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you how to build a very basic ladder out of some simple materials and a couple of basic lashings. So come with me and I'll show you what I've done. Right, so the basic materials for the ladder will be two eight foot lengths of timber here. And these will make you the stringers or the, the rails. So these will be lashed as so. Then once they're lashed into place, we'll be fitting the steps. And all we've got, once again, inch and a half, two inches thick of timber. And like I said, these will be lashed at either end and they'll be going up. So I've only been making three steps on this one, but this can be scaled up either to make a small step ladder or up to a great big ladder, depending on what you need to, to forage or what timber you need to cut down or, you know, to remove any widow makers or anything like that. So I'll bring you in closer. I'll show you the lashings I'm going to be using. We'll take from there. I think guys, uh, what we're going to do is tie it down 12 inches from the top. What I always find is, if you haven't got a ruler or tape with you, measure apart your hand. So I know for me that that's about five inches across. So I can measure down, that's five, ten, that's fifteen. So I have that, so about there's about 12 inches. And what we're going to do, we're going to use um, a shear lashing for this at the top. And then all we're going to do, as I'm just using a bit of jute twine to start off with, lash it up and over, it goes round. And then we took that back through on itself. Right, so this is a clo basic clove hitch this is at the minute. Right, so we'll do that, as you see. So what we'll do, we'll bring these closer together. And what I want to do, I want to go under, let's get these adjusted, under, over, under, over, and just keep doing this until we've got a, a decent binding. Okay, I'll wrap this around a few more times. Now what we're going to do, we're going to tie this off, off and wrap, wrap it around the centre to make it a bit stronger. What I've done, I've just cut a length off the... Open that up a bit. Length off the jute twine. Just keep threading this through. as needed. Oh, then all we'll do with this now is just finish it off with a clove hitch. So we've lashed the top and I'll show you what we've done. As you can see, our secure binding at the top, they're not going to go anywhere. And I say this can be adjusted up as wide as you need. So the next thing is put the steps on. As you can see from here, I've set out my stringles, the angle that I want. And now I've just gently placed the rungs on and this is roughly where I want them. And what I'm aiming for is about 12 inches apart. I want them equally spaced because if they're not equally spaced, what can happen is you can misstep when you're going up them and end up tripping up and falling off. So just be careful when you're spacing them out, you want them roughly the same, same distance, whether that could be a shorter distance for yourself or a longer distance if you've got longer legs. It's up to you, but just make sure they're spaced out equally. What I'll do, I'll bring you in closer and show you the lashing I'm going to be using for these steps. What we're going to do here, we're going to use a timber hitch to tie the two pieces together, and then we're going to go on to a diagonal lashing um, to make it more secure. I find that diagonal lashing is better for when these aren't perpendicular to, quite perpendicular to each other. So right, we'll start then. Uh, just tie this round as many times as you feel comfortable doing. Put it tight. That's right, and then we just start wrapping it round. Okay. 
do that round the back and then go diagonally the other way. Remember, this is just for demonstration purposes, really. I wouldn't use it if I was using this as a permanent ladder, I wouldn't be using something as weak as this. I'd probably use something a lot stronger. And we just, after you've gone diagonal, we'll just wrap it around the base. And then once we've done that, we'll just do a clove hitch, and that's it done. As you can see, that's last together nice and tight. So, I'll bring you back guys, I'm going to blast them all up and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to give us a thumbs up, be brilliant. If you want to subscribe, be top draw. Also, check us out on Facebook and Instagram because we post on there as regularly as we can. And also check out, once again, our store, Birch and Ember. Uh, I think we've got a few items on there that you might be interested in. Also, these fire boxes we're selling now. Uh, so yeah, so check us out. So guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you on the next one.